so let us start i'll just go back to creating a new project so um, let me give it a name uh say simple twitter tutorial okay now let us open this uh, app we'll start with some components so uh where's this okay let me have this uh, component known as twitter that you'll find in the social and this is a non-visible uh, component now coming back to your user interface let us have two buttons and say a label so one button I'll make for login, another one for logout, and we'll create one label for i which will just tell you what is the status of uh, um, your login and now let us change the names of these buttons so that uh, it will be easier for us to manage when we are in our blocks so we'll name it logout and login easier to manage then let us uh, make these button slightly better aligned better aligned on the screen so this you must be knowing uh, we'll create horizontal and vertical arrangements So they are all properly aligned now. Okay, now we'll create uh, more buttons for getting information from Twitter, like what exactly uh, you want to get from Twitter, what information. So, I'm not going into the details of Twitter, assuming you know or you can just log into your Twitter and see what nomenclatures we are using. So, uh, this button we have created for, uh, you want to request the names and numbers of followers. For, uh, for a particular um, Twitter account. So this will give you the list of followers. Now because it will be a large list, we'll uh, uh, display it in the uh, list view. There you go. And we'll make the screen scrollable because you don't know how many followers a person. Definitely he'll have more followers than what can fit into the screen.
Now what else we can do? We can get some more information from uh, the Twitter. Say, let me think. Uh, yeah, when somebody mentions you, you would like to know the details about who mentioned you in his uh, tweet. We can get those informations. Well, all these uh, um, informations you can get from the Twitter itself when you log into the Twitter account. But I'm just giving an idea that, okay, what you can do because after you get mentions, etc., you can create your own logic. Like if somebody mentions you, uh, do you want to uh, send some kind of a message to him directly so that uh, he knows that when he mentioned you, uh, you have read it, you know about it. Then we can get another button. Uh, if you want to know what different things one of your friends has uh, uh, written on his timeline in terms of tweets, so you can get that information. No, no. There are too many things that you can do uh, with this. You know, there are people who are earning money by running certain apps that, okay, uh, unfollow all the people who are not following you back. So you can create a logic and um, uh, you can, uh, instead of paying money, you can do it yourself. I, you can be innovative. You can keep on uh, thinking what else you can uh, add to make Twitter more useful from your point of view, not from Twitter's point of view. So this is a bit repetitive, but uh, we have to do it. That uh, first we created request followers, now we are uh, getting the list of all the people who <coughs> created mention, who mentioned your name and um, you can get friends timeline. Now coming back to blocks. So first uh, uh, let us see um, Okay, uh, when somebody clicks on login, there's something known as consumer key and consumer secret. I will not go into the details of that, but uh, these are some API keys from Twitter. You can go to Google and ask how to generate consumer key and consumer secrets, and they'll give you a certain length of numbers. And uh, those numbers, if they are matched with the Twitter's number that you are using, then it means that Twitter account has authorized you for certain uh, commands or for certain information. So when Twitter is uh, authorized, you remember we had given something as what is login status. So, uh, we can create login status based on whether your consumer key or consumer secret matches or not. For this username, we'll get the consumer key and consumer secret. Now there is another button, log out. When that is clicked, we will deauthorize the keys which we had earlier authorized. So, here we complete the 
login status anything related to login and login now this is uh, where we will copy and paste consumer key and consumer secret now we had made one button uh, to get the list of followers and once your login is successful we'll request twitter to send the number of uh, followers and names of followers when request follower when request follower request followers request followers uh, i think that is self explanatory uh, when somebody clicks it we'll request the twitter for uh, followers and when you have received the follower then we'll set that list view to display those followers now let us come to mentions same thing here we will request for mentions from uh, twitter and then we'll find when received when mentions are received so we'll display mentions there now let us go to friends timeline button friends timeline is clicked <laughs> request twitter for French timeline to create a label for that okay no problem this should be label one and receive it and display it this label one okay. friends timeline oh. oh earlier also we had used it okay we'll give some other name yeah display friends timeline okay that's fine Thank <laughs> you. 
this was consumer key you remember we had left it to blank so I have copied it from there and this is specifically for the account from where the information is being asked so this is the first one is the consumer key and the second one is consumer secret so we are ready so just try this and uh, let me know uh, what do you think about this and uh, if you have any variations